If you support President Trump, you've been called a deplorable, a Neanderthal, and now President Biden's nominee for the ATF, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, he is jumping in on the name calling. Here's what he had to say about first-time gun owners. Um, I would secure that gun locked and unloaded and hide it behind the cans of tuna and beef jerky that you have stored in a cabinet. Uh, and that's not all. Last night, President Biden doubled down on his gun grab. The president wants to ban assault weapons, and he called 9 millimeter pistols and rifles ridiculous. These are two ridiculous Tiger King, zombie, apocalypse, doomsday, preppers, I mean, our company. Turning Point USA contributor Aaron Elmore and former special assistant to President Trump, Newsmax contributor Kelly Sadler. Um, Aaron, I'll start with you. Um, how do you think those comments are going to sit in, uh, in most of America? Not very well. And I don't think that someone that wants to run the ATF should be suggesting that people put their guns behind their cans of tuna, as he said. We know that people and now beef have beef jerky. Their- Beef jerky, sorry. So behind the beef jerky and tuna and maybe some prego pasta sauce, the point remains the same. You should have your guns securely stored in a fingerprint safe to protect your children and family members. This is such negligent advice. And by the way, he looks like a young Gary Busey, if I may say so myself. We have been called every name in the book, so I think I'm allowed to say that one. Yes, as you said, we are deplorable. We are smelly Walmart people, but you know what we are? We also are the hardworking Americans who pay our taxes and fight our wars and don't want to collect a stimulus check. We want to go out and make our own money and support our great nation. So what he is saying is absolutely shameful, and anyone on the right should lambast him immediately. Yep. Mark, over the weekend, a six-year-old girl the night before was brutally killed uh, on her scooter by a drive-by shooting. This is a real problem in America's cities and is brought on by liberal policies. Yeah, Aaron, literally don't have a ton of time left, but as, as a mother, I know both of you are mothers, but how do you tell a kid, hey, stealing's wrong when that's what we see every day and there's no consequences? We really have to take our parenting to the next level these days because we know that they're not going to get it in the public schools. They're not going to get it on the Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon that are just propagandizing our children. So we really, as parents, have to be diligent and have to teach our children the way of the world in our vision, which is do the right thing, work hard, support and love your country, love your brothers and sisters, regardless of the race, color, creed, or gender. And what we see out there is completely wrong. Do not participate in that. Those are not the people that should be getting ahead in America. And the nice guy isn't going to finish last because we are going to raise our children to be better people and to know that this behavior is absolutely wrong. Yeah. Kelly, I'm sorry we didn't have enough more time. Uh, unfortunately, the way TV works is they, 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 they have Greg Kelly on after us and he gets mad if we go into his show. So we'll have you back real soon. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Sean and Lindsay. Okay. All right. Come-